Hi there. Hydrogen tanks in road traffic must meet very stringent requirements. If you stay till the end, you might even see a hydrogen tank burst. Various test methods are used to ensure that the tanks meet all their requirements. One of those is the so-called BPO, which is the baseline burst pressure test. In this test, we increase the pressure within the tank until it bursts. It is carried out up to nine times in order to cover all fluctuations and ensure that it always performs. After the baseline burst pressure, we have another very interesting test, which is the cycling test. In the cycling test, we charge and discharge the tank up to 22,000 times. In this test, we also look at the aging of the tank. The test, which I just told you about, can also be combined. So one of those is temperature variations. Like if you want to drive in very cold or very hot conditions, we combine this with the cycling test and we follow by a burst test in order to determine what performance is left in the tank. This is called the extreme temperature pressure cycling, where the tank sees a first number of cycles at a low temperature, like minus 40 degrees centigrade, and a second number of cycles, typically 6000, at high temperatures, like plus 85 degrees centigrade. Once all this is done, we try to find out what performance is left in the tank and perform a burst test. Another combination which is possible is the so-called accelerated stress rupture test. Here the tank goes like into a little sauna where the temperatures increase to plus 85 degrees and it stays in there for 1000 hours, typically six weeks, under full pressure. And we even increase that to 87.5 megapascal for typical type 4 tank as ours and after this long period where it's not allowed to either leak or burst we can again either perform another cycling test or a burst test in order to make sure the tank is always performing. So throughout all these tests we can also add sensors in order to measure how much the tank expands and also in order to sense any interlaminar breakage, which we will get during the tank's operation. Once we're done with the mechanical tests, we go on with tests that imply hydrogen, the real thing. One of those, a typical, very demanding test, is the so-called bonfire test. In the bonfire test, the tank is filled with hydrogen up to its complete state of charge, which is 70 megapascal, and then exposed to a direct fire. The tank has to release its hydrogen in order not to burst. So once we have done all these tests and their combinations, ranging from mechanical fatigue, burst pressure, functional cycling with hydrogen, and then going through hell in the bonfire test, we finally get the magic stamp, the ECE R134. And this allows us to be ready to drive. We can now show you what we promised, which is a bursting of a tank in real life. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment just here. Also, check on the link below to get more information.